You may notice that the model I've downloaded is in an A pose. I chose it to assess quality as we progress and to confirm that despite the strong suggestion to use T pose models, A pose models are also usable. Now let's export it in FBX format. If we still have animation keys on the timeline, we can uncheck the tracks box to ensure we export our model without unnecessary information. Finally, export it and give your file a name. Our next step is to use the Adobe Mixamo platform. To do this, you'll need a registered account, which is free. Once inside, the page will load the last model you worked with and remain online until you load a different character. If you go to the top tab, you'll find a direct link to a library of optimized characters that you can use for free. Well, this library, while it has a good number of characters, doesn't receive updates and doesn't aim to expand or offer more models. On the right, you'll see a button to load models, and among the required formats, you'll find the FBX format. Once your character has loaded, it reminds you that a T-pose is recommended for your character. Additionally, if your character isn't facing forward, you can use the buttons to orient it correctly. Next, we're going to place the color circles corresponding to the respective joints as accurately as possible. For the hands, you could use skeletons with bone chains that correspond to each finger or simpler chains that group the fingers to reduce the size of the final files. It all depends on the type of animations you'll be doing and their level of detail. In my case, I don't even consider using bones in the fingers because my character won't perform animations of that level of detail. So I'll continue. During processing, a window will show a sample animation giving you an idea of how well you've placed your joint guides and how well your character's geometry is suited for animation. Finally, you're warned that if you continue, you'll lose the previously loaded character and this new one will replace it. Your character now has bones and is ready to receive animations. You'll find enough animations to handle expansive projects. For this course, we'll need some fundamental animations to cover the basic mechanical needs of the average project. I'll need an idle animation to bring the character to life when the player is not active. If you click on any of the animations, it will be automatically applied and you can preview it in the window. Not all animations are loops, as is the case with this first example. Its purpose, as specified in its title, is to transition between a fighting idle stance to a standing idle stance. A regular idle animation doesn't transition to or from another state. It loops with itself so you won't see posture jumps when repeating it. For any of the animations you find on the right, there's a configuration panel. While it may vary between animations with more or fewer parameters, you can adjust them according to the needs of your target animation. You can adjust the animation speed in Overdrive, which will be reflected alongside the trim parameter in gray letters indicating the number of animation frames your character will have. It's important not to move the animation range handles because you would trim or misalign the animation loop. Don't worry about playback speed for now. It's only at the end of our process that we can adjust the speed directly in our final reference GIFs. Moreover, sprite sheets are the target format and it's the end user who will control the character's speed in their game engine. Take your time and find a suitable, idle animation style among the options. Adjust the animation properties to achieve the desired style. Once you have your first animation, click the Download button. Choose the Without Skin option in the Download dialog since we only need the bones. Now, look for walking animations. Ensure you activate the In Place option before downloading to keep the pivot point fixed at the center, ensuring seamless looping. Continue searching for any additional animations you need.
Finally, download the model in its original or T-Pose either works. This file will serve as the base to attach all the other downloaded animations. See you in the next lesson.